<laughs> in a story that has a lot of people across the web scratching their heads, Ambi Pictures has just purchased the rights to the 400 title archive of exclusive media, a library that includes films like Cruel Intentions, Donnie Darko, The Mexican Rush, and Memento. And according to the company, they now have immediate plans to produce a Memento remake. In the original Christopher Nolan film, Leonard, played by Guy Pearce, is tracking down the man who raped and murdered his wife. The difficulty, however, of locating his wife's killer is compounded by the fact that he suffers from a rare, untreatable form of memory loss. Although he can recall details of life before his accident, Leonard cannot remember what happened 15 minutes ago, where he's going, or why. In talking about the remake, Ambry producer Monica Bacardi said the following, Memento is a masterpiece that leaves audiences guessing not just throughout the film, but long after as well, which is a statement to its daring approach. We intend to stay true to Christopher Nolan's vision and deliver a memorable movie that is every bit as edgy, iconic, and award-worthy as the original. It's a big responsibility to deliver something that lives up to the mastery of the original, but we are extremely excited and motivated to bring this puzzle back to life and back into the minds of moviegoers. John, are you interested in a Memento remake? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, look, is the first Memento is awesome. It's just awesome. And I'm still surprised how many people have not seen that movie. Guy Pearce, it is great. Christopher Nolan was really his breakout film that put him on everybody's radar. Uh, I believe uh, Trinity uh, yeah. as well. Carrie Ann Moss yep. mm -hmm. um, is in it as well. And another Matrix alum alumni. Um, uh, Joey Pants. Uh, is that, is that yeah, Pants. What's his Pant last name? Joe Pantleone. Pant 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 yeah. yeah, he's in yeah. that as well. Um, fabulous, fabulous movie. And, and truly was you know, one of the best films of that year. Nominated for a couple of Oscars. All that kind of stuff. It's magnificent. And it's a great story. And I'm totally up for somebody else taking a crack at telling the story. Because it's a great story. Look, I, I've read a lot of people online saying, Memento doesn't need a remake. No film ever needs to be made. No, there's not, There hasn't been a film yet in existence or history that needed to be made. Um, look, they do a memento. I say this all the time, but it really applies here. I think it has a chance to be a pretty decent film because it's such a great story. And if it sucks, who cares? We've The, the original memento isn't going away. It's not like Amy saying, we are going to first go out into the United States of America, take every copy of the original memento, and burn it in a big pyre to the, you know, Gerard Butler Egyptian gods, and all that kind of stuff, and we're going to erase it from history and now give you this movie. No, no, it's still going to be there. If they make a new one, and, and it's good, then we've got a new good movie. If they make a new one, and it sucks, who cares? We, we instantly brush it out of our memory, and we still got the original memento. This is such a good story, and there's, it's the type of story that it strikes me. There are different ways you could tell it. So I'm curious to see somebody, but now that all being said, as much as the production company is saying, we're going to make a remake, that doesn't mean any distributor is going to pick it up. It doesn't mean any international market. Just because they're saying they're going to make it, number one, doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. And if they do try to make it, it doesn't mean it's actually going to be on a movie screen anywhere. So let's just take a step back and catch our breath a little bit. Anyway, Mark, you saw this story, your thoughts on a potential Memento reboot. It always makes me nervous when the story leads off with, hey, we just acquired the rights to a bunch of movies. Let's start remaking them. <laughs> and Memento isn't one that screams, oh, we need to be remade. And I didn't like the quote that's what bothered me about this because it doesn't seem like they're trying to do anything new with memento i don't mind a remake if they're trying to further what it is or they're trying to reinterpret mm. it a different way like the footloose remake okay it was a totally different version of footloose it updated it for a new generation footloose top gun i love the 80s guys so memento <laughs> it just doesn't seem like they want to take a different spin on it. i mean she said in the quote we want it to be every bit as edgy and iconic and as memorable as the first movie it's like well are you going to do anything different with it or you're just going to tell the same thing i do not want a shot for shot remake of memento but John brings up a great point. If they tell it in a different way or they show a different version of the same story we already know, it is a great tale, and I'll probably be interested to see it if they can do something new with it. Yep. I got two words that why they're so excited to do a remake of uh, <laughs> Memento. The two words are Christopher Nolan <laughs> because they get to advertise, you know, even it's just story by because it's basically his original story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even if based he has, on the film yeah. by the Christopher, Christopher Nolan, Nolan, really big yeah. memento, really tiny. So they're just gonna soak off of, uh, of his of his name value, which it, he had no name when Memento came out. That's the first movie of Christopher Nolan's that I saw, and 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 I remember being jaw dropped when I saw. It. I was like, yeah, what an so incredible, good. amazing masterpiece! 
insane neo-noir that this film, I mean, it's got so much to it, not just Guy Pierce, but even the direction, the storytelling, everything about it is an instant classic. When it came out, everyone was talking about it. Now, cut, cut to how many years ago did it come out? What was it? It was like 99, right? 2000? Yeah, so like it's that. like 17, yeah. almost 15, 17 years old. So yeah, a lot of people didn't see it. It's done its run on cable and DVD and everything. And now it's just a, one of those movies that you hear about, like, oh yeah, Nolan did this movie before he did Batman. Everyone's seen Bat the Batman trilogy, but maybe a lot of people haven't seen Memento. And that's how these companies, like I never even heard of Ambi. I don't even know what they are, but they're like obviously some kind of like giant consortium that absorbs pictures, then like, hmm, which one can we make money off of? Which is what, right. you know, it's a business. Everyone wants to make money. So they got Donnie Darko. That's not in the, on the we're remaking Donnie Darko. They're, that's just not like an immediate, you know, money <laughs> but grab. But you know it's coming. It's going to come. Yeah, <laughs> fans you're right. might riot. They remake Donnie Darko. Darko. Fans might riot. Well, so, I mean, look, you know, we always talk about that's, that's a business of movies. Movies get made, cut to 10, 15 years later, they get remade. Or there's just a story alone. There's the same story that's been told time and time again, and it's classic Seven Samurai, Magnificent Seven. The list goes on. So you you have this kind of a, a story that continues. I don't know how I really feel about Memento being remade because I don't feel like that's a movie that's like screaming to be remade. Like all these people missed out on this strange niche, like you know, compelling strange you know detective story that you know is is made for a small group audience. It's like, it's not demanding to be remade like some of these other big budget films that are 20 years old. So I'm not into the remake idea of especially taking a classic like Memento, as long as they do a different spin on it, but I just don't feel that that's... It's, well, I, I mean, look at something else that Christopher Nolan's had a big hand in, in Batman, is that they remade Batman originally. I mean, they, they've remade Batman a bunch of times, but right. they remade it after Batman and Robin because it was atrocious, and the character needed yeah. to be resurrected. They're remaking Batman again because they're doing a different spin on it. Yes. It's not that we don't like the Dark Knight trilogy. We love it. It's just that we want to do a different spin on it. So if you do a different spin on what Memento's story is, I could be up for that. This just sounds from that quote, it sounded like a cash grab to me. Uh, it just to, uh, as a point of reference, uh, actually, Memento has been remade, I believe, twice oh, yeah? already uh, in India, uh, it, and it goes under the name Gajini. Oh, nice! It, it, and it is a remake of Memento, uh, just in India. So, hey, look, other countries, we, we always do that to other countries. Yes, we're we like, do. let the right one in. We'll grab that. Let me do it. You know, <laughs> a, we're constantly grabbing other flavor from other countries and slapping it in like brand new American style. So, I don't mind when other countries like rip us off. Yeah, or it's like do I. A co-rip off fun world that we live in. <laughs> just remaking it straight up, like it just feels weird to me, especially Memento, since it's such a tiny classic. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.